Okay, okay. Next, next question. Uh, were there any challenges you faced in the first few months of building the company? How long did it take for you to get your first early customers? Uh, I will I will ask some of the questions from the chat box. So first one is from Ardi Pardi Jumadi asking Martin, how can Bumi Farta lead the market of location intelligence in less, in less than two years? In the beginning, how Bumi Farta convinced its clients to invest in location technology? Well, um, number one, we've got the resources. Um, we had the resources. There is a lot of companies who are um, consultants who do projects by consortium. So um, one company will provide software from overseas. One company will do this and they'll put it together. Uh, we are doing end-to-end -end software. We are building it here. Um, we don't need money from the client before we build the product. So I go out, I, I look out there. There is a few what I would call small competitors, but their, their, their level is nowhere near the same. I mean, I'll put them now, but you talk to XXI, and we talk directly to the owners of XXI. They've used a little bit of everything. They've tried this, they've tried the other. Now they're using our software, they are saying it's substantially better than anything they've ever used before. So... What in your voice is... Something comes through for we're there. Yeah, now it's good. Okay? Yeah. Right. Okay, boss. So, um, how can we do it? As I said, we're very single-minded, so we know what we're doing. We have the resources. Um, this is not the kind of business that VC likes. VC is not interested. They tell me it's too complicated, you can't do it. So, there's, so you, there isn't many other people who are going to throw a couple of million dollars at this kind of thing. So, that's one of the reasons. Everything else is a, is a consortium. So they will buy the software from the U, through a US company. Some consultants will put it together and then they'll request the money up front. Or it will be a very dumbed down, cheap version um, because the cost of actually building this kind of product is very expensive. You need a team of data scientists. You need this, you need that. So, you know, there is other people out there, but they, what I say is we are the number one end to end. We, we do the whole thing, including the machine learning, the data analytics, we do everything. And we know from talking to the big boys, the Unilevers, the, the Danones and, and XXI Cinema, who will tell you that they've used other stuff before and it, they've always had to bring people back, different consultants. And what we do is provide an end-to-end -end modular system that solves their end-to-end -end business uses. So not only for their site selection, but also for their sales planning, their, their demand planning, their logistics, they can run their whole business using our software. So if you look at a company, so again, I'm, I'm looking from an investor point of view, not just a founder, because for me, the, I had to have something that nobody else could do and not easy to copy. So I, I, I just looked at the opportunity that I, if you look at the US, there's a company called Map Anything. It was bought by Salesforce for $500 million. I have software for Indonesia that is already the same quality as Map Anything. And I also backing in Salesforce features. Now, we also listen to the clients. A few weeks ago, we met the CEO of um, BCI Insurance, and he suggested a way we can really change the way the insurance is sold in Indonesia. And it's a very simple move for us. So we are focused on what we're doing, but things like that, input from the right people, input from the guys at XXI, input from the guys at BCA. Um, I'm not really part of the ecosystem. Like I, my, look, my friends and people I know here are owners of companies. That's who I target, that's who I go, who I meet. So I talk to them every day. What do you want? What, what are you trying to achieve? What does Sotro need? What does my aura need? Um, and that's how we try to build the business. We, we try to take, talk to the right people so we know what we're going to achieve. So we know what people need and how to get there. Everybody else is just doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, because they don't have the resources and they don't have the connection or the single-mindedness to drive forward. And, and I think that's, that's the answer to that question. 
Okay, okay. Thank you, Martin. So, next question will be from Ardi. I mean, I, I think we have several questions for, for Martin here. And I think let's put those questions in the back uh, after the, the, the questions we have for the speakers. Ardi, over to you. Okay, next question. What do you think about B2G versus B2B? 